Hey guys, Mr. White Dulhack here back with another video. Uh, so it's been a few months since I've been doing a laptop video, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you my final, uh, what do you call it? What are they called? Undervolts and overclocks on my CPU and GPU. So, so you can see like uh, what I'm using. And I'll tell you what the temperatures and stuff are like. All right. Okay, so for the CPU underclock, I've used the turtle stop. If you watched that video, then go. If you not watched that video, go check it out. So what I've done instead now, what I've realized is you can go. These two CPU core and cache can be different. It's the Intel GPU and iGPU that has to be the same. But core and cache can be different, completely different. So what I've done is gone to the maximum value of 250 there I could go to 1000 but that's very dangerous I wouldn't bother with that you'll blue screen straight away so minus 250 if you remember before it was on one minus hundred and something is not as high and the CPU core CPU cache is 120 so yeah that's gone a bit lower than before but the temperatures are much lower now and you can see over here that they don't have to be equal so minus 250 so the CPU core offset is minus 250 there as you can see. So you can actually see that you can have them separate different uh, clock speeds. So under full load we don't even touch 90 which is crazy. But that's just a CPU on its own. Uh, on idle we hit about 40. On the max we hit about 80 something. Which is really good compared to what I used to get before. That's with 100% load on GPU and CPU. But we're never going to be... In a real life scenario, we won't be hitting like that. So when I actually am playing games, I'm hitting 60s to high 70s. But nothing higher than that. Okay, so I've uh, downrated the speed to 3.1 GHz at 6 cores. 3.2 GHz at 4 cores. And 3.3 GHz. I could run it at 4.5 GHz, but... Uh, I've not put enough power through it because adding more power will, uh, what do you call it? Adding more power causes uh, issues with the, basically I'll have to redo the undervolting and figure everything out again. Figure all the stuff out. So that's my limits, 40 and 40. If you want, you can go lower than that. You can go to 28 if you want, but I like 40. It's a good maximum because the maximum of this cpu is 45 watts so you won't never be able to hit the maximum but it'll be close to it so that's really good it just means you'll never thermal you'll never throttle because of power okay and when i run these tests where they call ts bench we get no issue there so that's good so that's a very stable undervolt as you can see right now downloading a game got a couple of browsers open one about 61 degrees and it's, uh, it's, it's decent, it's not bad. It's drip, dipping below 60 as well, which is really good. And look, there's no airflow. It's all blocked off. The air comes from there. The fan's under there. There's literally no airflow. So that's really good temperatures. Okay. And for some reason, Epic Games is very heavy on CPU. Just to store itself, it's very buggy. Alright, anyways, I'm going to show you my... MSI, G G MSI Afterburner Both of these can be refined more but I can't be asked doing it Like I could get even, I could squeeze the extra out of it but I don't want to do it, I can't be asked doing it It's a lot of effort So this is my Garaf, this is my overclock So number 5 has on it Ooh. There you go so number four, number five, pretty much the same. So what number four is, is a memory clock boost of 400. So that puts it to 40, let me have a look now. What can I run so you can see it? I'll run Among Us for you. Hopefully it comes in full. And put the charger in as well so you get full power. So this is an emulator. And if you've used Bluestacks before, you know it's a very heavy emulator. Especially if you've not got RAM. 
so make sure you have high enough ram okay so you should see some spikes of up to 4000 if once it loads up okay so temperatures are 60 right now still loading up it takes a while that's the bad thing there you go okay so graphics is running at 405 megahertz at the moment uh, where's that? Oh, this is probably a bad example let me find you a game to show so you can see the full uh, graphics potential okay. four four and five are pretty much the same all right profile four loaded tick exact same as those one okay so let me just show you now I'll load up a random game gta5 maybe uh, let's load up gta5 <laughs> hopefully this will show you the speed of the thingy and it's been overclocked as well the graphics with the curve so how you do the curve is control f i think yeah so as you can see the stock was uh the 1900 you can go up to the frequency but it never would reach that because there's not enough it's not enough power and heat. there's too much heat and there's not enough power so it would never get higher than it'd be around this mark so what i've done is made that straight line bit much and the max frequency we're hitting is 1725 and 1725 you can constantly hit that speed whereas before with this normal curve we were capped at like 1400 1300 it's very bad so with the undervolt it's uh, very good you can hit them speeds now and it, of course you'll have an update wouldn't it okay guys i'll show you in a one second once it <laughs> decides to do so all i've done with the memory clock 400 extra and core clock has been overclocked a bit <coughs> i'll show you the specs now of the this graphics card what speed it should run at now right, guys as you can see here oh shit it's gone okay so these are the specs of it so this is i have the 1650 mobile so let's go here zoom in 1650 mobile these are the specs of the official specs so it can do up to 1600 but that's under max but it never it never used to hit that it'd be around 13 it'd be at the bottom end basically because of uh, the voltage issue and the heat so now that it's been under voltage it can go higher it's actually past this point by 200 megahertz i believe we'll go on the game one second guys control alt there you go okay let's load up right now we're just in a loading screen so memory is not loaded much on there go to story mode Need that's, that's not changed either, so I don't know. It might be frozen or something. I have to relaunch that. We'll have a look. Let's see if it changes once we're in the game. So, as you can see, we're only on 60 degrees right now, so slowly creeping up as we load in. But you have to bear in mind I'm be uh, downloading a game as well. So, that's using a different hard drive to heat up. Uh, GPU RAM. Only using 1.3 gigs of RAM at the moment. 1.4, 1.5. There you go. Okay, there you go. Oh, so the max speed it runs at is 17.55. So that's a lot more overclocked than before. 14, 4401 is the new memory clock, which was uh, at 400. So the original was 4000. As you can see, we're hitting about 70 degrees. Can you hear the fans going a bit crazy there? That's with normal fan on. If I put cool boost on, oh. Okay, I guess it wants to save itself. So as you can see, temperatures are creeping up slowly, but they're dropping as well. So we're not gonna go over 80 anyway. So that's really good. Okay, let me close that now. So those are my overclocks. Oh shoot. And they're very stable. So these are very stable for my PC. Your PC will be different. So make sure you keep an eye on that. You have to test everything with all the benchmarks and stuff. I'll show you in the video how to do it. 
So yeah, with the graphics, I reckon I could probably push that further down. I could probably push it further down and get her more... I could probably get more less voltage in there and get a, a slightly more overclock but I've not tested it as thoroughly as the CPU one the CPU one's perfect GPU one I could do more work on it but I just can't be bothered I'm happy with how it is now there's no really need for me to do it further on but yeah thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys next time and uh, goodbye guys